which is the one single AI uh, companion that you can use every day to ask questions, to create, and to take action. Microsoft just dropped a bomb in the AI world with Orica 2. It's a total genius. Now, it's not just about performing brainy tasks, but this bad boy chats with you like a pro. Move over, GDP4, because Orica 2 is here to steal the spotlight. Stick around, because we're diving deep into this mind-blowing breakthrough. You see, Orica 2 is Microsoft's freshest addition to the AI playground. It's not your typical AI, it's like the cool kid with about 3 billion parameters. Think of it as the sweet spot between simplicity and power. So why the hype around smaller models, you ask? Well, these mini AIs are like the energy efficient superheroes of the tech world. They're easier to train, don't drain the power grid, and are cost efficient for both the big guns and the startups. But, and there's always a but, smaller models face challenges, especially in acing those mind-bending tasks. Enter Orca 2, the brainchild of tweaking a Llama 2 designed to mimic the big guys like GPT-4. Now don't get it twisted, Orca 2 isn't just a mini GPT-4, it's the smaller sibling. It's like teaching a dog new tricks, but instead of doggy treats, it learns from GPT-4's explanation traces, thought processes, and all those complex instructions. Guided by teacher assistance from ChatGPT, this little genius picks up reasoning techniques like a pro from recalling to generating and everything in between. Picture this. While GPT-4 might tackle a complex task head-on, Orica 2, being the brainy strategist, may prefer breaking it into bite-sized steps. Now for the skeptics out there, let's talk performance. Orica 2 isn't here to play, especially when faced with a GSM 8K dataset, over 8.5 thousand math word problems that could make your head spin, but not Orica 2's head. It tackles these problems involving basic arithmetic and up to 8 steps like a middle school math whiz. And here's the kicker. It doesn't just match up, it outshines models 5 to 10 times larger on those brain-busting zero-shot tasks. Yeah, you heard it right. Zero training, no examples, just raw brain power. So picture this. Orca 2, the underdog in the AI world, takes center stage and not only holds its own against the heavyweights, but surpasses them with a swagger that's hard to ignore. When we talk about benchmarks, Orca 2 is like a rock star hitting all the high notes. It's not just proficient, it's exceptional, leaving models of similar size, including the OG Orca, in the dust. Now think about GPT-4 and a Llama 2 Chat 70B, massive models with the kind of parameters that'll make your head spin. Orca 2 steps into the ring and the crowd goes wild because it's not just competing, it's outperforming these giants, proving that size isn't everything in the AI game. Now let's unravel the mystery behind Orca 2's math. Imagine an AI that didn't even glance at a single math problem during training, Yet when faced with complex arithmetic, it handles it like a seasoned mathematician, all thanks to Orca 2's stellar reasoning abilities and its knack for understanding natural language. It's like the AI version of taking a math test without opening the textbook. Talk about impressive. But hold on, we're not done yet. Orca 2 takes on the big bench hard, the ultimate challenge in the world of AI benchmarks logic puzzles, mind-bending word problems, and IQ tests, and IQ tests that make you question your sanity, Orca 2 tackles them all with finesse. It's not just surpassing models of similar size, it's going head-to-head -head with ChatGPT on this benchmark, proving that it's not just a one-trick pony, but a versatile genius in the AI realm. Now, let's shift our focus to exams, the bane of every student's existence. SAT, LSAT, GR, GMAT, these acronyms might give you the shivers, but not Orca 2. It strolls in, and the best part? It aces the questions in zero-shot settings. No last-minute cramming, no access to external knowledge, just Orca 2 relying on its top-notch reasoning skills and natural language prowess to conquer exams that would make most of us break into a cold sweat. Now, Microsoft has done something extraordinary. They made Orca 2 open source, a move that deserves a round of applause. Why? Because it means everyone, and I mean everyone, can get their hands on it, use it, and make it even better. 
Microsoft just kicked the doors wide open for research, collaboration, and the development of both smaller and larger language models. Talk about a win for the tech community! Now let's dig into the nitty gritty of how Orca 2 differs from its older sibling, the original Orca, that hit the scene in June. They both boast a cool 13 billion parameters, but Orca 2 takes a different route by using Llama 2 as its base model instead of the heavyweight GPT-4. And here's the kicker. Orca 2 steps up its game with some top-tier synthetic data, polishing its reasoning skills and becoming a task-solving maestro. It's not just a facelift, it's a performance upgrade, especially when put to the test in the GSM 8K dataset where it flexes its muscles in multi-step mathematical reasoning like a champ. Now let's talk about communication. Orca 2 is like the Shakespeare of the AI world, spinning out natural flowing texts, conversations and explanations that'll make your heart skip a beat. It's got a bag of language tricks up its sleeve. Think rhetorical questions, casual expressions, and yes, even emoticons. But it's not just a one-style wonder, it can adapt its tone and speaking style to fit any occasion. Formal, casual, friendly, sarcastic, you name it, Orca 2 can do it with flair. Now let's chat about reliability and robustness. Orca 2 didn't just hit the gym, it became a heavyweight champion in managing a wide range of inputs and outputs. It's not scared of mistakes and uncertainties. In fact, it faces them head on and comes out on top. If the original Orca was a solid player, Orca 2 is the MVP, the one you want on your team when things get tough. This thing isn't just crunching numbers and spitting out answers, it's doing it with a conscious effort to recognize and dodge biases and ethical concerns. Imagine an AI that's transparent and responsible, ensuring its actions and decisions are out there for everyone to see with no hidden agendas and no shady business. Now here's the scoop. Orca 2 isn't your one-trick pony. It's not confined to a specific task or field. It's the jack of all trades in the AI realm. It can seamlessly switch between tasks and fields, working side by side with other heavyweights like GPT-4, Palm, or Llama 2 Chat 70B. It's like having an all-star team where each member brings their A-game and Orca 2 knows how to benefit from the strengths of its peers. But hold on, it gets even better. Orca 2 isn't just spewing out generic responses. It's tailor-made to cater to user preferences and specific situations. Formal, casual, friendly, sarcastic, you name it, Orca 2 can adapt its style to fit the vibe. It's like having a virtual assistant that not only understands what you want, but also how you want it. Talk about the ultimate AI sidekick. So what's your take on this AI revolution? How do you see Orca 2 fitting in your daily grind or future projects? Drop a comment. I'm all ears and curious to hear your thoughts on this. See you guys in the next episode. Until then, see ya!